Efforts take forever. Hello everybody, my name is Attacker Berry, and on this week we're going to play The Escapist again. Uh, we broke out of the first prison after a single day, I know, I was pretty surprised. Uh, nearly got caught at the end of it, but managed to just scrape by. So now we're going to go to the next prison, which I believe is freezing cold. So, let's get to it. Um, I don't really have a plan for this one as such, however I do know there is a generator powering electric fences both above and under the ground. So we will have to integrate a way to destroy the generator in our plan, or at the very least turn it off. Okay, so here's our message. Sent me another one, have they? Listen Barry, I don't have to remind you that Stalag flocked. Is famous for housing inmates with a record of escapism. One point. So, if you're planning on getting out of this one, think again. Now get yourself settled in. It's going to be a cold, long winter. Fantastic. Well, that's fine, because I have a razor blade before we've even begun. So, fuck all of them. I should probably go to roll call. Okay, let's have a look at some of our teams. Albert, Lucas, Alex, Anthony, Benjamin, Joe, Xavier, Marshall, and Isaac. Nice. This is gonna be this is gonna be quite a good team. Right. So like last time, I think the first few minutes we're gonna build up our power, but after that I'm going to jump and build up intellect. Because I get the feeling we're going to need a little... We're going to have to make our guy a little bit smarter this time. If we're going to break out of... Break out of this prison. Question is... Using the crash mats provided, you can use these items to increase... Ah, speed and strength. I'm going to guess this is strength. Yep, reps. Last time we were pumping iron, now we're doing press-ups. And look, we're back to this again! Magical. Fucking magical. There's gonna be a lot of this in the Let's Play. Maybe you should find find new ways of doing this. Little dance. No, wait, that made it totally worse. Pew 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 pew. pew. Oh, and breakfast is out. Now, apparently this time I have garden positions to do. Now that would be nice because it could get me a lot of trolls, but honestly, I don't think I'm going to need trolls or shovels. I might need a pickaxe, I suppose. Um, a rake wouldn't hurt. No, I think this time we're going to need. I know we're going to need a lot of talcum powder and toothpaste because I don't want to break through the wall to the generators. I'd much rather. I'd much rather use a, perhaps, well, I suppose I could kill a guard, or beat up a guard, and take his keys. And we could replicate those keys, and then walk through the, then we could just go into the generator, turn it off, and leave. That won't arouse too much suspicion, if we do it under the cover of night. I don't know, I'm still kind of figuring this out as we go along. Also, they now start checking our cells a lot more frequently, so I need to be careful not to have too much contraband on me at any given time. Because if they catch me, I I could be spending more than one day in here. Like, maybe five, six. Forever. Hello, officer. Pay no attention to the man in the shower. I mean you no harm. Okay, I think he's gone. Uh, I missed the cable TV from the other, the other prison. At least when you were working out, you had something to watch. Now it's just 
cold and... And there goes Xavier. Hello, Xavier. They'll be letting him out soon. They'll be letting him out soon. Oh, due to your sheer incompetence and inability to reach the more than reasonable set quota, we have no choice but to let you go from your job. Again. And now it's exercise period. Don't worry guys, I, I got here first. I just wanted my own mat. It's cool, it's cool. Hello there, Officer McLean. You look... Well, you look like you're having fun staring at that wall. <laughs> look at these little guys at the bottom running. Oh, whoa! Guys! You're supposed to be working out on the fucking mat, not on each other's faces. Jesus. More to the point, what did you have? Uh, chocolate fire guards. Alright, and you have nothing. Well... Oh. Afternoon free period, huh? What's our stamina? Psst, that could be enough. I'd like to get it to maybe 35. Let's see, day one, I won't be able to do a, a prison overtake, I don't think. Um, but at the very least, we can build our stats up. That way we don't have to focus on them in the later days. And I can just focus on getting the equipment I need to break out. And then we'll break out. So, simple enough plan. Um, keep going. Right, 65. Need a little bit more. Uh, fatigue's running low again. Has dawned on me that the the webcam is covering over the fatigue. That's fine, you don't need to see it. So now we just sit in the shower for a minute. So how's your day is going? I suppose I could load up the chat, that might be a good idea. Nearly there. You can see this is a very exciting let's play. <laughs> there we go. Right, back to the training board. Time to work out! As I say, this could very well just be the prep episode. But hey, can't break out if we don't have a plan. At least I don't think we can. I wonder if anybody's just tried asking the guards if they can leave. I know it sounds stupid, but you never know. A little bit of bribery, just walk through the front gate. Okay, that should be more than enough. Now, I'm not going to the dinner because you get more energy just by attending the shower and it's quicker. So next we are going to run down to the library in the bottom right, if I remember. Yep, I think I just saw it there. There it is. And now we're going to read. Now, you thought button mashing was bad. Now we just sit here and press the A button. Yep, this is gonna be a it's gonna be a very oh wow you get two shifts. That would probably have been useful. Officer. Apparently somewhere I've built up heat, but I don't really know what I've done. Is it a crime to read books?
Oh dear. Well, the guards seem busy. Hello, officer. Don't mind me, just a just a convict reading a book. What well, what's the book's name? Oh well, if you must know it's How to Escape. <laughs> I don't know, some guy wrote it after Shawshank Redemption. Fantastic film. Watching that film made me want to play this game in the first place. I love the idea. It's a stuck in prison, a fantastic plan, and then breaking out. Magical. For some reason this guard says, oh, why? Every time I go in the shower you wish to see me. Leave me alone! Can't help but notice that the convicts never get shoes. That's gonna be cold, I mean... Running around in gravel, it's freezing, running through the snow... There's weeds everywhere because somebody didn't do the gardening job. Whatever prick that was. Christ, even inside it's harsh wood floors. Or some sort of deformed textile for carpet. Oh, while we're here, you can see the electric fence in question that we need to jump out of, or break through. I'm thinking if we get a few files and some duct tape we can make, we can just cut our way through those. But we still have to get rid of the electrical power. And since I've not really got much time left, I'll show you my plan of escape. Basically, we will get a red key, and we can open this door here. With that door, we can walk into this generator down the bottom. There, there is a blue key. I can't quite show it now because I have to go to roll call. And in the, with the blue key, we can go in and out of the generator once. So we have to do this precise. Um, also, there's no way we're getting out of this in day one. At least I'm not. Some other person may find a way. But I believe mine will take at least two to three days. So, if you're looking for a quick escape, it's not me. Um, okay, so now we go to the bed. Or at least we normally would, but I'm going to raid Benjamin's desk first since I couldn't do it earlier. And we'll take the talcum powder, very important for what we're going to do. Um, the chocolate could be useful too if we find a cup, which we don't have, but never mind. So, while we're here, just make the putty. Now the putty that we've made there, that's going to be used for making a mould of the key. And um, we're now going to sleep and end our progress. So first day, we've got a lot of stats, which is important. We're going to have to get a little bit more, because I haven't quite got enough for what I need to do. Also, since it's morning, a lot of people's uh, items will have changed, as we now have. We, uh, we've got a rake. Don't worry, people, we have the one weapon I like, the rake. Uh, we also have a comb now. If we take the comb and the lighter, we get the molten plastic, and that's what we will put into our putty mould to create the key. So, there you go, we have that sorted. Right, go back to roll call. I suppose while I'm here I can see what anybody's selling. Timber would be nice if I was using the appropriate tools. He's selling files. We need, we definitely need files. Files, duct tape, wires. Um, actually, I might not need wires. I might not need wires if for my plan. I don't know. We really need to survey the area on this on this day. I reckon if we get all our prep for day two. And then on day three, we'll do the actual escape. I think. I think that might work. It really depends how well we do in this bit. So. Alright, breakfast. Now let's read everybody's. Some duct tape, good. Uh, more combs. Rope. Not quite sure why we've got rope there, but hey, I'll take the rope. Ah, I know. 
There you go. Flimsy cars. If we make those sturdy, then we'll be fine. Also going to take the lighter. And I'll come back for these items. You know what? I don't actually need the rope for what I'm thinking of doing. I'll put the rope back. Any other day, rope would be a godsend. I'd be using it all the time. But this particular place, we don't need it. I already checked his desk. And in here... A lot of layers, more of these. Don't know why I'm looking in here, I don't really have room. Mm, no, right, go and put these items away. Now if I put the wires, I don't really need the putty right now so I can stash that. Put the clippers in the toilet. Because that is some illegal shit right there. I think if they found us holding those, we'd be busted instantly. So. Right, we need the file. We have actually got tape, so we can upgrade those. Make them... We need more intellect. Okay. Fair enough. I will go do that right now. Hello again, Officer McLean. You're becoming quite a common person we come across. Mr. Bruce. Right, just gonna sit here. Pretty soon we're gonna have to start taking on the guards as well. little more. You want about 70 on this as well. Agility is important too, but I tend not to use it very often. So, at least not in the early prisons. Maybe later on it's worthwhile. there. Damn it, need to need to go back to the showers and hit them hard. I'm running out of time already. Exercise! We don't need it. We're not going to exercise our bodies. We're going to exercise our minds. Badoom! <laughs> in my spare time, I should have put a little curtain in a corner and counted how many bloody times that fucking bleeps went off. Okay, that should be more than enough for what we need to do. But what if it isn't? I suppose the other handy thing about this is none of the guards or the people really want to fight us right now. Because they're too busy fighting each other over there. And that guy got the shit kicked out of him. More rope. Why? Why now? Definitely need more combs. I'm never gonna turn down rakes. 
E dare drat. <gasps> Ooh, the cup. If we have, if we find another lighter, we could make a fantastic weapon. Right, one more. Also, talcum powder and the toothpaste. That should be both our keys good to go. Let's see what else we can find. I think I already looted this place. I did. Okay, different area. Uh-oh. I've been detected, haven't I? Shit. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, calm down, just... Come on, you come on! Yes! You have the key I'm looking for. Interesting. Okay. So, what we do now is we go over to this guy and we take his key, we make the mould, then we make the fake key, then we give him back his original key, very important. The yellow key would be handy as well, but we, nah, we won't use the yellow key. Now we need to be careful that the heat dies down. Speaking of heat, we will take the lighter and the chocolate. Actually, no, we don't need it. That could have been used to make a weapon, but it's fine. Ah, why not? The molten chocolate is an instant kill on most enemies. Especially the guards, so... Here we go. We've also got our wire fence, although I may not need that. I need a little more duct tape, I know that much. Put the fake key away, Jason, you stupid boy. Any contraband needs to be hidden because it's not worth it. Apparently the molten chocolate's illegal, I mean... How anybody's going to detect that? I don't know. Right, going to Xavier's desk. He doesn't have that. Medicine couldn't hurt. Green key, interesting. I don't need it, but interesting. Oh, bugger. Not good, not good. Oh, I had the guard outfit on me. Oops. That was a little bit stupid, but never mind. We can pick, we can work away for it. Ah, he took my knife, but not the putty. And I broke the cup anyway, so that's fine. This is the wrong desk. Uh, don't need you. Don't need that either. Really need some duct tape. Medicine away. Let's see. T 
defeat my trusty Rick. Lure Officer Tucker away from everyone else. Perfect! The red key. Uh oh, make sure you put the red key back, Jason. Okay, and as far as I can tell... Let's get a look down at any contraband, Jason. Yes, I've got the red key mold, I need to put that away. need four more intellect to craft this item. What, I can make blue keys but not... <laughs> okay, fine. Seems a little bit stupid but I won't press. I suppose I should just max out my intellect while I'm here. Okay, that's got to be enough. Surely. Right. Hmm. I don't actually need any blue keys. I only need red ones. Oops. One, two... One to get in, one to go into the generator, one to get out the generator. That's free. One to get in. Okay, I need... So I need two red keys. Okay, not a blue key. Not a blue key, only two red keys. If I wanted blue keys, I can use ventilation shafts. But I need two, two red keys, okay. What do you think, Lucas? Anybody selling anything useful? I believe this is a good place to end it for this episode. So, thank you all for watching this episode. Remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and give me some feedback on any other games you'd like me to play or critique on this one itself. And I'll get back to you on the next episode where we should try and break out. Okay, so from me, everybody, goodbye.